One of the difficulties in interpreting mammograms, particularly a mammogram in a woman with dense breast tissue, is trying to determine if a structure is real or not. Tomosynthesis can help us peel back the layers of the breast to see if what we're looking at is just dense breast tissue, compacted, or it's a hidden cancer that's obscured by overlying dense breast tissue. Tomosynthesis works by acquiring multiple low-dose images of the breast in an arc around the patient. And those images are compiled into a stack or a data set. Now the radiologist can then scroll through these images slice by slice in order to look at the different layers of the breast tissue as opposed to looking at the breast tissue in one view that we do currently. Some of the early benefits of tomosynthesis is that it is showing us that it can improve our cancer detection rate. In other words, we can pick up more cancers earlier. Also, it is showing an improvement in decreasing our callback rate. The callback rate is the times that we call a patient back from a screening mammogram to work up a potential abnormality that may or may not be there. Tomosynthesis, in its current form, is only approved to be done at the same time as a standard 2D mammogram. What that means is that the patient will now get twice the amount of radiation. This amount of radiation is still deemed to be well within the safety margin as determined by the FDA. When doing a 3D mammogram, patients will probably not even notice the difference. The machine does all the work. The patient just has to stand in compression and typically breath hold for a few seconds. Tomosynthesis only adds a few extra seconds to the standard mammogram images.